Hi, my name is Ron Lehman. I'm from the Faux School in Frederick, Maryland, where I teach decorative painting workshops and complete commission projects for clients all around the world. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to do me a small favor, and that's go down below, hit the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I make new videos and are published, as well as when I schedule live interactive chat sessions. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, but today we're going to do roasted pepper, roasted red pepper Grisello Venetian plaster with a gold wax. So let's get our tools, let's get our materials, and let's get started. The first thing I've done to get ready for today's technique is base coated the surface using the micro primer. Micro primer is an interior exterior primer, cleans up with soap and water, tints with pigment, never paint, but I very seldom ever tint my base coats, unless I'm doing super dark colors. But today I'm gonna to do this roasted pepper red Grisello. So Grisello is a line based plaster, it's the polishing plaster gets to the high gloss finish that you see. Um, uh, you've seen do it multiple times, but somebody asked me for uh, a deep red with a gold wax. So this is actually left over from a, a wall I did in my own house. Um, so Grisello, interior, exterior, lime base, tints with lime compatible pigments, never paint, never universal colorants. Has to be lime compatible or lime stable colorants because the lime in the Grisello could attack other types of pigments and cause it to fade prematurely. Uh, the best thing about Fermolux, is you can send them your favorite Benjamin paint color or Sherman Williams, they'll tint it to match, and they also have a lot of pre-made colors ready to go. Okay, tools, Pavantral, and our spatula. So let's get some plaster and get it on the wall. Just need a little bit to get started, all right? If this is my ceiling, I'd come across it like so, and then work my way down. This is my other wall, I'd come down, and then fill it in. Trying to keep it almost flat and come up a little bit on the edge to manipulate it around. Okay. bit more we'll finish it up. Always work from wet to dry meaning you're starting in the wet area and pulling it out because what happens if I start here see that line that's now permanent it's gonna be hard to get, re get rid of that. Pinch more. If that's the other wall, you just come out, always kind of cut your edge in as you're going, and then fill in the field. All right, let's get this dry 100%, and then we'll come back and do the next step. See you in a bit. Okay, you can see we're completely dry. Next application. Now, think about doing something a little, uh, not really. Nah, I'm gonna do what I originally thought, planned on doing. So let's get this on here, next coat. See how dark it is? That's why you always make a dry sample. Doesn't want to go today. It just doesn't want to spread out right.
See how fast it's starting to dry? I put it on that thin when I'm working. That's two coats. Look at the color I have. It's almost full depth of color. Okay? So, let this dry 100%. We're going to do a third coat. That'll be our burnished coat. And then we're going to add the gold wax. See you in a minute. Okay, here we are, completely dry, ready for the third and final coat, which would be our compression coat or the burnish coat. So we're going to actually compress the material down, causing it to become smoother and more reflective. So we're going to put a very thin, tight coat on. doesn't want to work. Oh. There we go. Come on. Putting it on just like I did the past two coats, laying it on almost flat, and I bring it up on the edge of the blade. And I put it on so thin and tight that I'm actually starting to burnish as I go. So I'm going to clean off this excess. And while it's, eh, it's still a little too damp in a few spots, but like right here, it's way too damp, but here it's not. And you'll see it start to come to life. So it's compressing everything together, and this movement is underneath, it's starting to come to the top. Always check it, make sure you're not getting anything. I might be pulling some material off of the side, but you just never know. And you're gonna burnish it from a couple different directions in case you, like here, kind of want chop, chop, chop. So I wanna make it that way when I look at it from the side, I see that choppiness, meaning like, like where the trial kind of skipped across the surface. So I just wanna make sure I don't have that. So. Just hit it from several different directions. Not several, but a few. Yeah, that's it. See, it's starting to get real dry. Let's take a peek here. See the reflection? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Plaster is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So we're going to let this dry 100% and mix up the wax. But what we're going to do... Where am I here? I'm going to take... The spatula wax, Fermilux spatula wax, and put that in a container. And I mean, I'm just doing a sample board, so I'm not going to go crazy. But when I'm tinting a quart like this, I will put 25% of this container into a quart, and that you, and I measure it on a. Gram scale, electronic gram scale. 
so I know it's done correctly every time it's the same measurement so let's put a little wax over here I'm going to use my micro gold from Sep Leaf for the gold it's a soft gold they have lots of golds but this is the one that I like and it's micro the other ones are like Aztec Sunset they're real strong real bright don't necessarily want that for this finish this is about the, the best gold you're gonna get for bright gold that's pretty much it you just put it in here and stir it together now if I'm mixing a whole container I have a process that I go through where we actually heat the wax up liquefies it we put the wax or the uh, mica powder into it and then stir it up and then boom it's completely all the way through we know it's done the proper way never do that over any kind of like super it's a special plate that we use um, because wax is combustible so if you get this too hot it can actually boil over onto the heat source and catch on fire so be very 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 careful all right let's let this guy dry we'll come back and then uh, wax it up all right so plaster is completely dry we've mixed up our wax let's get a clean trial and uh, where's my polishing before I get too far into this there it is okay so let's get some wax the highlight gold wax on the trial So let's try to do this. Can you see the wax in the can? See it on the trial? Can you tell the slight difference in coloration? Let's do this. See that? Clear wax, tinted wax, okay? So you can definitely see it. Let me see something. Yeah, we're ready. See, it's putting a lot of wax on the surface. We're gonna fix some of that here. Where's my like a towel? Should be using a rag, I don't have one handy. So that shows you how much movement that was really there. You can come up here with this rag. I'm gonna pull off some of the excess around these edges and heavier spots like so. over top of those areas because when you wipe it down like that or rub it off you can push it around Ooh, and like that sound some plaster came off the tape and just scratched the boards always be careful Same when you do the wax with the plaster, always go from the, the wet area to the dry so your trial marks don't show up. Okay, we're finished with that, so let's put this off to the side. Now, the plastic bag with the cotton inside of it, just a thin plastic bag no color on it no ink no logos anything like that and inside i have a t-shirt what this does is it creates it just goes faster over the surface and polish it up quicker if you just use a rag it's going to get some friction on it it'll still work with the rag but this just works quicker okay Pull our tape. And there 
there we have it. Look at that. Look how rich that is. Isn't that pretty? They're highly reflective, but look at that. Gorgeous. Roasted with pepper grisello plaster from Fermalux with highlight gold wax. There she is. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section down below. I will make sure I put links to all the tools, the materials, and everything I use to create this technique so you can order it directly from the comfort of your, wherever you're watching this from. Um, I do take their wax and mix it here into various colors, so there'll be a direct link to the website for that. I do stock wax now, um, just because it's easier to make, mix the colors and be consistent. But before we go, if you could do me a favor, go down below, hit that subscribe button, um, that lets you know, it'll notify you when new videos are coming out and when I schedule live uh, interactive sessions. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Ron Lehman. I'm from the Faux School in Frederick, Maryland, where I teach decorative painting workshops and complete commission projects for clients all around the world. If you're interested in classes or commissioning me, go to thefauxschool.com. For classes, you'll see a full, a full uh, schedule for all the classes with descriptions. And the commission, you'll see as well, you'll see uh, contact information and projects I've completed from casinos, government buildings, private homes to restaurants all around the, the all around. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.